saw the Pelicans finally got it done. AD moved on, you know, and now you bring in Alonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, um, the fourth overall pick in the 2019 draft, and then you also have the number one pick in the draft for this year. And you also bring in three first-rounders and the ability to swap with the Lakers' first-round pick for, like, two seasons. Um, So, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. This is kind of a massive overhaul for AD for one player. You know, I mean, you've got your possible franchise point guard. I mean, of course, shout out to Drew Holiday. But, you know, I think that what this creates is, you know, Alonzo and Drew, that's kind of a – defensive nightmare in the backcourt you know you have two defensive guards that can probably make it hell for you on defense I mean I probably would put them as like one of the top 10 like defensive backcourts in the league coming this next season already just simply because you know Lonzo's pretty good on defense Drew Holiday of course is a defensive dog as a guard um I think what this does is allow Lonzo to play the one and he's able to create for others. And you'll see that unselfishness kind of unfold. And then Drew kind of play that two guard. You know, he can pretty much just rely on getting buckets and playing defense a little bit. I think Drew will probably have one of the best seasons he's had in his career versus last year, just simply because, you know, he won't have to worry about ball handling responsibilities that much. And I think Lonzo will kind of take the burden off of him on defense just a little bit. Um, yeah, then you, now to get to Brandon Ingram. Ingram, quietly after the All-Star break, you know, he kind of averaged like 27 and like five assists and stuff like that. You know, that was after LeBron kind of went down for the rest of the season a little bit, then he came back. But, I mean, Ingram kind of was coming into his own. I mean, yes, there are questions about his shooting, you know, the three-point shot, but – you know, Ingram's shown signs to be a playmaker, a kind of like point guard this kind of dude. So, I mean, you can see a lot of Ingram pick and rolls with Zion, you know, same for like Lonzo and Zion. I guess the only fear with that would be can Lonzo hit a jump shot or pull up from the three-point line when the pick and roll, when people go over the screen, under the screens and stuff like that. But, I mean, if that he did shoot 41% from college with that weird release form, so, I mean, we know it works, but the question is, can he be consistent enough with it to where it does work every season? So, I mean, yeah, that's going to be a question. I mean, I can see if guys are, like, negative on all out on the shooting and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, you have to think of Josh Hart as well. You know, they kind of just got their defensive do-it-all kind of guard. You know, he's a two-way guard, plays defense. He can kind of do everything on offense, you know, shoot threes. He can play make just a little bit. You know, he did come from Villanova playing point guard a little. But, you know, he's 6'5", kind of the bigger shooting guards, and those are one of the bigger shooting guards in the league. So, I mean, you know, Hart can really either come off the bench or start, you know, if Drew goes down. But I think – even with the flexibility of the Pelicans roster, I mean, you got to think about it. They still have Frank Jackson from Duke, who I'm very high on still, even though he really hasn't had any playing time. But Frank is more of a scorer. So I think, yeah, you could do a Josh Hart, Frank Jackson backcourt off the bench, and it kind of succeeds everything. And then on top of that, you can kind of do like Julius Randle, considering he resigns. Um, that would be very interesting to see. Um, Randall kind of just came off his best – well, not kind of. He did come off his best season in the league last year, averaging 21 points a game and nine boards. You know, the question there, can him and Zion really play together if he resigns? Can Drew, Drew Julius Randall handle that toughness of playing center every night, day in and day out? You know, average entry could experiment with Zion playing the five and Ingram at the four a little but although I wouldn't get too crazy with that because, I mean, let's say Zion is a rookie and – don't let the weight fool you. He is big, but I don't think he's able to handle the physicality of the league every day in and night like that, playing small ball five. I would only do that if I was playing someone a la, like, Utah, where, you know, it's only Gobier, but I think that Zion could, you know, kind of get the better of Gobier weight-wise, but height-wise, I don't think that's really possible. But, I mean, hey, we'll see how he really transitions from the college to the league. But, you know, on top of that, you could have some moments where Ingram's running pick and roll with – Julius Randle as well. I mean, Julius Randle and Zion Williamson are just 
two big guys that are kind of like bulldozers that can kind of just bulldoze their way to the rim. And I don't think that a lot of people really want those problems if Julius Randle resigns with these guys. Um, of course, they have free agent Alfred Payton. Then you have Stanley Johnson, you know, considering they take those guys and resign them for a low amount. That's pretty good playmaking in the backcourt. I mean, the backcourt is going to be loaded if they keep all these guys. Um, then on top of that, you do have Jaleel Okafor, who kind of found a post with this Pelicans organization. So, I mean, you could go that route of letting Ju- um, Jaleel Okafor kind of do his thing in the post, you know, get the post moves. And Zion just has his back when it comes to put back dunks and rebounds, offensive boards and stuff. I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see how average interest kind of rolls this roster out because, I mean, you do have a lot of talent. But if we can get to the fourth overall pick as well now, word around that the Pelicans are dangling that pick and shopping it around the league to see what they can get for it. I mean, yes, the Pelicans are not really done. I mean, this Anthony Davis trade has really set them up for a rebuild of the future. You know, they can be scary good right now if the benefits and they reap the rewards of the benefit, you know. Um, I Don't be surprised if they come close to making the playoffs. That's kind of a hefty low to say they would make the playoffs in this deep, deep West, but I mean, don't be surprised if they win over 30 some games already this season, because I mean, you do have guys who have kind of grown a little bit in Ingram, Josh Harden, and Lonzo, but then you have a guy like Zion Williamson, who, yeah, he's a rookie, but he should definitely translate to wins quickly in the NBA, and should definitely be adjusted quicker than most NBA players, with Lonzo's IQ and Drew Holiday's IQ put together in the backcourt, you know, that's a lot of, like, good basketball brains just out there on the court at the same time. Lonzo's the pass first guy, so he's always looking to make the right play. Of course, you can have Lonzo lobbing to Zion, which I think the entire league needs to have in there. Um, Drew Holiday can also be a lob to, like, lob to Zion and stuff like that. Drew Holiday can put the ball on the floor, play make. Um, he's a point guard as well, but more of a scoring guard. I mean, this backcourt probably has the potential to be one of the better backcourts in the league as they grow, um, as long as they make sure they keep Drew and make him happy, which I think he will be playing alongside the talent that he has now. I mean, yeah, AD was AD, but you kind of got a lot of generational talent around him now where he doesn't really have to work as hard because after AD, he was like the second option and really the only other option on the Pelicans team, but now you kind of have like four options coming in that you can go to and a lot of versatility on the roster. You know, this roster has the possibility, the capability of switching from one through four easily. You know, Lonzo and Drew can kind of switch off ones, two, threes. Um, and then Ingram, you know, being six, eight, six, nine, he can kind of switch on all four spots. And then you have Zion, who, of course, can probably more than likely switch one through four and move his feet a little bit to keep up with those guys in the guard position. Um, Josh Hart being a great defender, you know. A lot of these, this team stuff just works right now. You know, this is going to be good. The only question about them is what do they do at center? Because on nights when you're playing AD, um, Rudy Gobert, you know, Jokic, what are you going to do at center? I mean, you could look to clear out some of that cap space by moving like Solomon Hill or a player like that, allowing you to go after somebody like Nikola Vucevic. But then again, is Vucevic really that good on defense? No, he's Probably not. I mean, I give him credit. He has improved a little bit, but he's definitely not the defensive center that they would need to, in order to hold up in the interior. I mean, yeah, they have Zion, but do you really want to res- rely on Zion every night to just block shots and be a big body down low in the paint? No, not really. You kind of want to get his versatility out of him, you know, let him run the floor in transition, you know, and Lonzo could definitely find him in transition. So, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun stuff with this Pelicans team. I can't wait to see them. I know the league is excited. You know, I bet their box office is just blowing up right now. Their tickets are probably sold out as we speak. I mean, then they also have the fourth overall pick. So, I mean, whether they pick a guy like Darius Garland, Culver, Hunter, you know, they could go out and get Cam Reddish maybe um, if they want to get kind of wild with it. But, you know, it's a lot of options for this Pelican team, including free agency. So, I mean, yeah, somebody maybe with the Pelicans. You know, this Pelican team may be a fun team. All I know is on 2K, they definitely will be getting used. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes.